I really appreciate you joining me today and this story comes from Tiverdale in the West Midlands. I originally covered this story a year ago and I went to the scene to cover what had happened when an 18 year old male was shot dead at traffic lights in the middle of the night on Dudley Road East. This happened on the 20th of June last year and this week three men have been convicted of murdering him and they have also found a motive that has been revealed in court. Kamani Martin was shot dead while he was travelling in a taxi on Dudley Road East by Kashane Campbell, a quarters heard. He fired a shotgun from another car while it was moving, but he said in court that he only wanted to stop the car to retrieve back the belongings that had been stolen from him by Kamani. The killer Kashane Campbell was a rapper from Tipton and his name in music was Cash. He also wore a chain that spelled his name and this was a massive part of helping to convict him during the trial. The court would hear how the pair would meet and how this escalated into a homicide. This is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company, get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. This week, Campbell was convicted of murder alongside Atif Khan, who was the driver of the car that helped to hunt Kamani down. A third member of the group, Osman Amjad, was convicted of manslaughter, and Luke Adams was also involved in the incident. Homicide detectives collated CCTV, ring doorbell footage, and phone record evidence while trying to work out why Kamani was murdered. It led to two people being arrested within days, and another man fled the country and he was detained when he returned back from Pakistan. The court heard that Campbell was a drug dealer and he'd been kidnapped earlier on by Kamani and two of his friends. The court heard that Kamani Martin, who was 18 years old, befriended Campbell, aka Cash, at a music studio and they arranged to meet each other, potentially to do a drug deal. Kamani then kidnapped Campbell and a boy called Luke Adams at gunpoint. Adams was stuffed in the boot of a car and Martin ordered Campbell to take them to Adams' home to steal money. The prosecution explained in court that Martin had stole Campbell's distinctive necklace that he wore in hip-hop music videos and he featured on P110 and did a hood's heist. If they stop this cab is back to the London I really showed niggas how to whip with magic Half a box fours in peps and the rest in zeds How can I slow down when I'm GMF? I'm on the M-way fuming and it's off safety Drug squad for my teens still trying to raid me and they also took his mobile phone that the prosecution said was a drugs hotline. The murder victim Martin and his two associates then left Campbell on the road and parked the car in Tipton and left Adam in the boot. He was later to be released by Campbell and the pair then got into a VW Golf with Amjad and Khan and began searching for Martin to get revenge. It was said that they spotted him near a Tipton Sports and Social Club in a taxi at around 1am. The golf then gave chase to Martin and he was later shot dead at the Dudley Road East traffic lights. The prosecution said that Martin had stolen thousands of pounds of money, jewellery and a mobile phone that was very important to drug dealer Campbell and also the disrespect that was made by taking his chain which also had his name on it. It was revealed in court that Amjad phoned one-to-one -one taxis to find out where those who had kidnapped Campbell was. The prosecution said that Mr. Martin was sitting in the rear passenger seat and the shot did not go in sideways through the window, but instead it came at an angle through the boot and this would take skill and experience to be able to aim and hit a target while moving. Mark George, who was defending Amjad, the driver, said that he was prepared to out Campbell as the front seat passenger, which would run the risk of being called a snitch in the grass by those who would perceive telling the truth as being a bad thing. Campbell realised that he couldn't maintain the defence that he had and he changed his not guilty plea to guilty later on during the trial. It was also revealed that they tried to look for the two other people that was in the taxi at the time. So when they fired the shot, there was three people in the back and the taxi driver... Kamani was shot and two other people managed to escape without injuries but the car had drove around the area trying to find them. At the time of the shooting police were in the local area and they tried to save Kamani's life but he died at the scene. Yo Scar City at the scene in Tiverdale. This is uh, the whole road has been shut down. The whole road locked off. I'm just going to see how far I can get before the police tell me to fuck off basically. It's Father's Day and somebody has been shot dead on this road. Dudley Road East. And there's a big tent up, there's police cordon, forensics are in place. And we're gonna see 
this could be someone's father at the end of the day. It's a messed up situation. Condolences to the family of the victim. Following the murder, the group went to a nearby address and Campbell and Amjad ordered a taxi to go to a hostel that the Amjad was staying at at the time. This was in the Wensbury area and despite knowing they'd been involved in a murder, the prosecution said they went to a fast food restaurant on the way. The following day, the killer Campbell was captured on CCTV speaking to somebody else at the hostel and also reenacting the firing of a gun. Amjad also asked another resident in this hostel to dispose of bedding and the police seized this bedding before he could and they found gunshot residue. Campbell from Vicarage Road in Tipton and Amjad from Wensbury were arrested within four days and Amjad was arrested at Heathrow Airport. Khan from Park Lane had left the country but was arrested several weeks later when he returned. They were convicted at Birmingham Crown Court and will be sentenced on the 29th of June. Detective Inspector Jim Colclough from the homicide team said this was a targeted shooting of a young man that was a revenge murder and it could have been a triple shooting as well if the other two hadn't got out of the car. We believe that everybody in the car was aware that he had a shotgun and he was prepared to use it and it also shows the dangers that are associated to gun violence it can sometimes take a long time to be able to explain a story so as to not affect trials but with this story you can see that the chain of the murderer was found on the victim and this from the beginning was always going to come back to him there was nothing he could do and the homicide conviction was always going to stand and it's also a big reminder of what you're willing to do in response to revenge how far are you willing to go and what are you willing to risk and lose in order to be able to keep respect and maybe it isn't wise to trust people too quickly in this life so my condolences to the family of the murder victim and i really appreciate you joining me in following this story for over a year and please leave your comments below i'll be back again very shortly with some more news and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already thank you